Well, the hailstorm that ripped through the state over a week ago did some major damage in Shepherd, especially to its schools. In fact, with school set to start tomorrow, the district is working to shore up its classrooms. Today, we sent MTN Zoe Zandora to Shepherd to show us the damage, the progress, and the impact on students. We're not starting kindergarten and first grade till Friday now, just because my mantra is clean, safe, and dry. And we're getting there today, but those teachers still need time to set up their classrooms. Shepherd Schools, a centerpiece of a community that weathered a storm of 20 minutes of 70 mile per hour winds and baseball sized hail, causing damage to windows, rooftops and air conditioning units, costing upwards of $2 million. We're dealing with the immediate damage to get kids back in the building, but this will be a three stage process probably take a year to 18 months. All of the room's windows are boarded up, even double boarded with insulation in between. Carpet is still being pulled up and replaced, but the superintendent of Shepherd Schools, Scott Carter, says they hope to have carpet and windows in by Christmas. Both the Shepherd Elementary and High School have a nearly $12 million bond measure on the ballot for the 2019 September election. Carter says the damage from the storm should not affect that, but the bond is still very much needed. That bond is huge. Um, we drag food through the snow. We have a library in a 1950s building. Carter says where the damage done from the storm and the bond set on the ballot intersect really is do they put the money back into the buildings? Do I fix up the kindergarten building that's condemned? Um, or do we wait and see if the bond passes? The support from the community, Carter says, has been amazing. This is an amazing community. We are Shepherd. And we're going to get through this and we're going to help each other all the way through it. In Shepherd, Zoe Zandora, MTN News.